here's how to edit your email signature within Street Text for all your automated emails. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here into settings. It's the gear in the right hand corner. We're going to click on email signatures. And in here, you can create a new signature or you can edit one of the uh, ones that are already here. I'm just going to go into this one right here, click edit. And right here is where I can now start building my email signature. So if you already have an email signature that you use in your email client, you can simply go over there. I'm using Gmail right here. So I'm going to go into my settings in Gmail. I'm just going to scroll on down to where my signature is. And I'm just simply going to grab all of it here. Oops, I might have just uh, moved it around. We'll just see what I did there. And I'm just going to copy it. And I'm going to come over here into Street Text and I am going to paste it. And you see there, it's pasted in. It looks like it might have, uh, this little table in here might have just shrunk a little bit. So I'm just going to drag that out, kind of just fix the formatting a little bit. And it'll be right in there. And so once you're happy with that, you've got your signature in there. Now, sometimes uh, what will happen is these little uh, images might not necessarily come on through. And so uh, you can add those into Street Text and then you can update them in here. So, or if you use an image for your email signature, I can show you as well as how to get in that. Both steps are the same. So I'm just gonna come down here, I'm gonna hit save. And then once I hit save, I can also click here and make that my default signature. And then it'll be updated in all the emails. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in and use an image for my signature. Or uh, if you want to change any of these images or they don't come through, uh, you can also do the same step here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over here. I'm going to open up my settings again, just in a new tab. And I'm going to go all the way down to the very bottom here. I'm going to click Assets. And right in here, you can upload any images or anything you would like. So you just go in here, you click Choose File, select the file that you want to upload, and then just click Upload in there. I've already uploaded my signature in here, so it's just an image for my signature. I'm going to then copy this URL right here. So you're going to want to copy that. I'm going to go back into my email signatures. And you can do this very same thing even for your emails if you want to put an image in there. I'm just going to go Insert. And I'm going to go Image. And right where it says Source, I'm going to paste that URL that I just copied. And I'm going to hit OK. And there you can see that I have a nice little image signature put in there. And that's how you insert images into uh, your emails and into your signature here. So, and then you just hit save and it'll save that. Obviously, I'm not going to keep all of this as is, so I'm just going to get rid of this. Now, another thing you can do, you might be one of those people that uh, says, hey, Troy, I don't have an email signature. How do I create one? Well, there's a really great service. It's called uh, mailsignatures.com. You can come in here. They have many, many different templates. So you just kind of go through, uh, find the template that you like. Then you can put all your information over here. You can even upload images and all sorts of stuff. And it'll create a nice little signature for you. So once you've actually created that signature, what you can do is you can just come in here, select all of it. You're going to copy it, go back into your signature, email signature in Street Text, and then paste it in. And you see, there it is. And it'll be all pasted in with all the formatting and all the links already done for you. So nice and easy. Then, of course, you're just going to hit save and you can make it your default signature.